Well, well, I want waffles, just like in the picture. It'll be done. I'm ready. Whisk, shower, and battle. Mmm, delicious. Oh, sorry. Uh, but it's time to get down to business. I pour flour into a bowl, break two eggs, and of course sugar, a little milk and butter, and now we need to mix it all. Just like that. Watch and learn, Ben. It would be something to learn from, right? Now I will pour the dough into bowls. Just like that. A little red dye and stir. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> Do you want to compete in speed? Well, hold on. All my colored dough is ready. Now I'll just pour it on the waffle iron, alternating colors. It's time to bake my waffle. I love Nutella so much. What? Yes, his waffles is already ready. Oh, I need to come up with something. Exactly, Nutella. I'll add flour right into it. And milk in the same place. And I'll mix everything. Pour the dough into the waffle iron and you can bake. I'm sure the chocolate waffle will be in her taste. How do you like that? I should decorate my waffles. Dip them in chocolate. And then in rainbow sprinkles. Beauty! Wonderful! Ah, is this waffle? Here I have a real waffle with maple syrup and powdered sugar. And strawberries for decoration. My waffle is ready. Oh, they decorate them. I need to decorate them too, with Skittles. I'll decorate the waffles with sweets and turn out great. So cool. I wish I had some left. Come on, Betty. Wow, I don't even know where to start. With rainbow waffles, I think. Mmm, what a smell. And so delicious! That's cool, Ben! Now a waffle from Kate. Mmm, sweets! And chocolate! An unusual combination, I like it! And of course, grandma's waffles! I'm drooling! How delicious! Mmm, I can't choose! They're all very tasty. I want to eat them. And granny's waffles and rainbow and chocolate. Oh, just delicious. I want to eat them all. Mmm, so good. Yummy. Oh. Betty, are you okay? And who won that? Aw, oh, interesting. What are we cooking this time? Almost done. Here, I want a chicken leg. Easy. Wait, where do I get it? Ah! Take it away, take it away! Whatever you say, darling, but I'm going to cook it. Now, I'm going to rub it with some oil. Add some seasoning. Just on top of it, like that. I'll cut some apples. Just like this. Mmm, what a smell. I'll put it inside. And put other pieces just around my chicken. Just like that. Let's put it in the oven. What? Granny already did everything? Ugh. I think I have an idea. I'll take the spicy chips and add hot sauce to them. Now you need to stretch everything. Yes, that's what you need. And my chicken breading is ready. Chicken leg, it's your turn. Shake up. 
Wonderful. So beautiful, it's almost ready. Just going to the baking tray. Ugh, who cooks like that? Look how it should be done. Sprinkle with different seasonings and rub them into the leg. Just like this. And now, I'm going to fry these legs in my grill pan. The main thing is to make sure that they don't burn. Golden, just like this. Whoa, Grandma, didn't waste any time here. The chicken is ready. A couple of slices of oranges and a decoration on the legs. I understand this one. Kate, mind your own dish. Well, that's fine. My legs will be cooler. I'll just lick my fingers here. Oh, something's going on. So spicy! Whoa, not a joke. <coughs> uh, my legs are ready. The only thing left is to put them in a branded basket. Perfect roasting. And I will serve them at the fountain. Just add cheese and voila. Oh yeah, cheese fountain. Betty, I hope you appreciate it. Bon appétit. Wow, everything is so different. Is that a cheese fountain? Oh, let's start with it. I'll dip it in the sauce. It looks so cool. Wow, and it tastes incredible. Chicken or legs? Chicken or legs? Hmm, I'll start with legs. Looks tasty as well. Mmm, but they're… Ah, uh, so sharp! Oh no, so spicy! Ah, uh, I need some other chicken! <sighs> it worked out. But grandma's chicken is just so good. I'll try the leg. Mmm, smells good. Whoa, Grandma, it's incredible! You definitely won! I don't care about manners, the chicken is so delicious! Yes, you can't beat Granny, losers! What do you think is going to be this time? I want french fries! Can you do it? It's a piece of cake for me. Grandma will figure it out. Ouch, my old bones. Even I can handle it. I'll cut the potatoes. Hey, is this knife stuck? Ah, uh, get down. Oh. Ouch. That wasn't me. It's grandma. What? Don't distract grandma. What could be better than just some pieces of potatoes? I'll put them in a pot. Pour oil on them. And sprinkle them with my seasonings. And a sprig of rosemary won't hurt. I'll carry it. Or no, I'll carry it. Calm down, both of you will help me. Uh, now I'll show you what my professional cooking alliances are capable of. A couple of spins and the potato turned into a spiral. Have you ever seen that? Now we'll just fry it in the boiling oil. And I'm done with the slicing. Now we'll stuff everything into the toaster. Lunch and bang! Ooh, the main thing is to catch everything. Oops, I missed a little. I'll collect it now. That's it. Just like at McDonald's. Oh, this one seems to be mine. My potato is baked. And what a flavor it has now. The only thing left is to pour cheese sauce. That's it. Ugh, so lame. That's how you need to serve potatoes to the table. And the barbecue sauce fits much better. Ugh, oh, stop it. The best sauce is ketchup. Come on, Betty, prove it to them. So many potatoes! I'll start with this one. It's just like in the picture. I'll pour ketchup on it. It smells like McDonald's. <laughs> so cool! 
And the taste, too! So good! Now grandma's potatoes. How much sauce? Not bad, but not exactly what I wanted. Ooh, what is this? It looks unusual. Mmm. <laughs> what does it taste like, I wonder? Let's dip it in the sauce. And taste it. Wow, it's incredibly delicious! Ben, you're a cooking genius! Oh yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> I mean, thank you. I wonder what we'll have to cook. Hmm, I want french fries. French fries? Well, that's easy. French fries. Well, never mind. I can do that. Okay. It's easy. Let's go. Oh. Uh, fine. Come on, stupid potato. Ugh. Ow! How painful! Do that again and I'll get you! It was her! Grandma! Yeah! What? Hey, you're cutie. Now we'll cut everything up quickly. Like this. We'll put everything here. And add a little bit of oil. And don't forget about seasonings. We still need to add spices. No, that's enough! Well, the only thing left is to put it in the oven. Only a true professional knows how to work with potatoes. See? Perfect slices. How beautiful and smooth they are. Just like that. And let's add seasonings. Mmm, what a delicious smell. The only thing left is to fry them properly. Yeah, almost done. Yeah. It smells great. Toaster is fast and efficient. Come on, we agree on that, right? The only thing left is to wait a little bit. And... Yay, got it! My french fries are ready. Here I am. Now, let's put the potato on the plate. Ah, so appetizing. Just sprinkle with herbs. Mmm, it smells wonderful. Ah, just look at her. Here I have a real potato and real french fries. And the finishing touch is the sauce. Just choose. Wow, how many french fries! Let's start with this one. Strange. Let's measure it. Well, just like the norm, I can eat it. Whoa, how delicious! So good. Yeah. Now this one. Mmm, very good. I think I'll eat it again. Hmm, very cool. Now… Ooh, how beautiful it looks! Hmm, what a golden one! Let's dip it in the sauce! Hmm, yummy stuff! Wow, this is awesome! I approve! I choose this french fries! Ooh, so good! <laughs> My french fries won! However, I knew it! Envy and Silas losers! And now, I want scrambled eggs! Okay! Good! Nice! Uh, oh, easy! Oh no! Oh no! 
It crashed. Ugh, so I'll quickly get the whole shell out of there. Ow, ow, hot! Ew. Okay. Fine, it's gonna be fine. Everything is possible, right? Let's add some salt. No! Ugh, why am I so unlucky today? Oh no. Now it's burning! Oh, let's cover, let's cover it. Like that. Ugh, that's better. Okay, you have to do it calmly. Stir the eggs, add milk. Well, that's great. Now you stir. Oh, what's wrong with my hand? Uh, let me help you. Uh, I can't even joke now, or what? Why are you so serious? So now you add some salt. Pour everything into the frying pan. Just like that. Hold this, baby. See how our famous chef is doing. Look at that. First, we add some water. Nice. You need to boil it. And then you get a special package. Break the egg. Just like that. Now we close it and lower it into the water. And wait. So beautiful. Ooh, it's time. It's time to get the egg. Just like that. We put it on the plate. Sprinkle with salt. Ooh, la, la. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, and I'll sprinkle my dish with herbs. And I'll add tomatoes. <gasps> wow, it looks super delicious, Grandma. And what happened to your eggs, baby? <gasps> Mine? Oh, I completely forgot. Oh no, what a horror. A nightmare. What is it? I've never seen anything worse. We're ready. Well, let's see what we have here. Uh, something unpleasant. Uh, I won't even taste it. And this one. Hmm. Ooh. What? Did it? Ah, uh, I don't like that. What is this, yolk? Ew, no, not for me. And what's that? Looks very appetizing. And smells very good, too. And so delicious. This one. I choose this one. Me? Did you really choose me? Yeah, I won. Oh, something caught my back. Uh. I want a milkshake in this round. Milkshake, then. What could be simpler than a milkshake? That ugly no. glass? No. Here is our size. Ooh, Haribo bears. Just put it there. And some chips. And let's add some Coca-Cola. Mmm. I can't wait to try it myself. Wow. We're going to mix everything up now. Yeah, so cool. Pour the milk. Then some chocolate bar. Mmm, Hershey's so good. So delicious. And then we stir constantly. The chocolate will melt. And it tastes so good. Let's put it in a mug. Hooray! Ugh. And now let's add some marshmallows on top. I know that my granddaughter loves them so much. Last touch. Look at this, so cool. Yeah, not really. Let's pour some syrup on the glass. Now ice cream. <laughs> and put it in the blender. Wow. Some Nutella and delicious milk. And cover all this and mix it up. Ready. We pour what we got into a glass, decorate with vanilla foam and Oreo. Some chocolate chips and chocolate balls. Just perfect.
Ooh, la, la. Ooh, I wouldn't mind Ooh, tasting wow. that. Come on. We are ready. Wow, how many delicious things. Uh, something strange. What's that? <laughs> Ew, what a mess. Ooh, how cute. <gasps> what delicious marshmallows. Mmm. Mm. <sighs> and how delicious it is itself. Wow, it looks awesome. And the taste is just as awesome as the look. Ooh, it's Oreo. Yummy. I give the victory to this milkshake. Yes, yes, I knew it. Well, how insulting. I tried so hard. What do we start with? We're gonna start with the pizza. I hope you know how to cook it. That's a good choice. I've been working in an Italian restaurant for a long time, so I can make this pizza super easy. The most important thing is you need to knead the dough well. Here, I'll show you how to do it. You just crack a couple of eggs and then you knead the dough. Just like this. That's the right consistency. The dough. The taste is all in the sauce. Oh, and we can't forget about the cheese. Oh, goodness me. I'm getting a little tired. What's so difficult about making pizza? You just need to cut up some sausage and cheese. Pizza's ready. I gotta agree with Granny. Sauce is really important. I think in the end I made a way cooler sauce than I thought. I really outdid myself. Just look at how delicious this tomato sauce is. Now I understand how to make the sauce. Just gotta blend up some tomatoes in a blender. Oops, I completely forgot to put on the lid. Now I'm covered in tomato sauce. Well, at least it got on the pizza. Everything's ready. Me too. All I have to do is bake it. I can't forget to decorate my pizza. Now it's time for me to bake it too. Ta-da! Everything's ready. Now I just have to add some finishing touches. See, now this is what a real pizza looks like. And smells like. I outdid myself. Kate, time to try. Ooh, I finally get a good meal. What's this supposed to be? Why are there these huge chunks of sausage? I don't even want to try this. It looks gross. Wow! But this pizza, on the other hand, looks delicious. Just look at how that cheese stretches. Mmm, yummy. This is delicious. Okay. Now for the last one. Mmm, this is also really delicious. Just like in a homemade way. I don't know which one to choose. Ah, who am I kidding? Chef Betty made the best pizza. Yeah, I knew it would be me. I'm better than everyone here. <laughs> What are we gonna cook this time? I want delicious pancakes. The perfect dessert. Easy. Betty, watch and learn. Are you talking to me? It's you who should be watching me and learning. I'll show you who's boss. Have you guys completely forgotten about me? We'll 
see who's cooler. Check out how I can handle this milk. That's nothing. I can do that too. Wow, that's cool. I want to try. Oops. That didn't work out. Now check out how I crack these eggs. I'm like a real ninja. So what? I'm like a sumo wrestler. Oh no, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I think I'll just use the plate. Oops. I think you're adding a little too much flour. My dough's gonna be better. Now I'm gonna beat it up with my special mixer. <laughs> Big deal. I can just use my hands. Ooh, I need flour too. Oops. I think I missed. Well, I guess I can just mix this by hand. Yeah, that's super easy. I have almost everything ready. Boring. Those pancakes look so boring. Why not try making them a little more colorful? For example, I'm gonna make a pancake with a huggy wuggy face. Check this out. First, I'll start with the eyes and mouth. Next, the lips. Now for his blue fuzzy face. That's horrifying! I think I like my pancakes a lot better. Now I just need to add some maple syrup. And some butter. I'm getting tired. Wow! Everybody else is almost done! And Betty's pancakes look so beautiful! I need to hurry. Well, looks aren't everything. I'm sure Kate's really gonna like mine. All right, time to try. Um, Jess? What is this? It looks disgusting. You burnt it. I'm not eating that. But these pancakes in the center look really nice. And delicious. Ooh, wow, how delicious! These are the pancakes I've always dreamed of. And what is this? These look really original. Time to try them. Mmm. These pancakes taste incredible. Again, I don't know which one should win. Let it be grandma this time. Yeah. Grandma, you made the most delicious pancakes. I told you. I'm a real pancake master. This time, I want a big and delicious sandwich. Oh, a sandwich! I'll give you a sandwich! The most important thing is to add enough vegetables. This is gonna make it so much healthier! First, I'll chop up some onion. And then some tomatoes. Oh, the toast is ready! That means your sandwich is almost ready. I think this is turning out quite delicious. 
Check out my healthy sandwich. Vegetables. Who needs those? Chocolate's way better. And can't forget about the marshmallows. And instead of some gross lettuce, let's try some sweet jelly. You can never have too much chocolate and marshmallows. <laughs> I think I'm making the most original sandwich yet. Making any old sandwich is boring. I'm gonna show you how to make a cool sandwich. Just check this out. You've never seen a sandwich like this. This is a super ham sandwich. And it's coming your way! Kate's definitely gonna love it. Wow, everything looks super! I don't even know which one to choose. I guess I'll start with this one. Mmm, delicious! But why are there so many onions? Ugh! I can't stand those. Ew. But those are really healthy. <laughs> Who cares about that? Ew, I don't like shrimp. And those are olives? And there's a whole bunch of onions here too. This is filled with stuff that I don't even like. Gross. I'll just eat the meat and cheese. But then if I just eat that, the sandwich is gonna be so boring. What a letdown. Oh no! All right, Jess. You're my last hope. Hey, Jess, how did you know that I love chocolate? How delicious! Jess, congratulations! You won! Finally! Super! We'll start with a simple one. Cook me some delicious pancakes. Pancakes, I can do that. I've made so many pancakes in my life. I know their recipe by heart. First, you need to mix flour with milk. Then break the egg into the resulting mixture. Zach, what are you waiting for? Repeat after me. How do you say you need to do this? I have a deep plate. The only thing left is pour flour there. And the more, the better. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, it's not easy to cope with flour. Next come the eggs. You also need to be careful with them. And we must not forget about the milk. Grandma taught it that way. Whoa, Grandma, yes, you have a full-fledged doll ready. Yes, yes, there will be pancakes soon. Damn it, what have I done? Granny, it's all your fault! I was distracted by you and accidentally poured my doll! But never mind, I think after I shake it up, everything will be okay. Strange. Uh, the stupid mixer is just stuck. Come on, get out of there! Uh, where are the mixer nozzles? Oh no, how do I get them out? Ugh. Apparently they have settled in my dough forever. <laughs> yeah, Zach, you're a lousy cook. We'll have to cook the most delicious pancakes ourselves. I don't have any competitors anyway. Just look at this beauty. So beautiful. 
Of course, these pancakes need to be poured with maple syrup, so they will become even tastier. A piece of butter wouldn't hurt either. Granny turned out, of course, not bad, but too boring. Why not make pancakes also colorful? So it'll be more interesting to eat them. Wow, beauty. The dough is ready. Let's cook. My pancakes are in the form of famous characters. So they will be bright, tasty, and memorable. Such beauty will definitely not leave your head for a long time. So beautiful. Let's flip it. Just a little more on the other side. And ready. Well, everyone got such beautiful pancakes. What should I do? That's right. Why cook pancakes from dough? You can just take the finished one. For example, cut out circle of bread with the help of cups. To make them tastier, you need just sprinkles and whipped cream. And if you add a little bright sprinkles, my bread pancakes will become even tastier. Look! It's almost ready. The last gesture. Look at this beauty. Kate, it's time to pick a winner. Wow, I didn't expect such a variety of pancakes. Let's start with Zach. I hope this pancake won't disappoint me. Although they look quite strange. But sprinkles and cream are good. Well, let's move on. Who are these blue freaks? Original. But are they delicious? Ooh, I really like it. This time, they definitely tried for me. Well, the only one left is from Grandma. Grandma, don't let me down. Mmm, so gorgeous. Oh, a taste of my childhood. Grandma, you know best how to make delicious pancakes, so the victory in this round goes to you. Oh, hooray, don't worry. Someday you will be lucky, too. Are you ready for the second round? Then make some delicious hot chocolate for me right now. We'll be done. Easy. While everyone is chatting, I, as the smartest, enjoy Nutella. Zach, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I need this Nutella to make hot chocolate for Kate. I plan to win this round, too. To do this, I need to stir the Nutella with milk. Then put this mixture on the fire. And of course, stir it well. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh yeah, the smell is amazing. It's time for me to start cooking. But the milk won't open. Ugh, I'll finish you off anyway. Oh no! I'm covered in milk myself. I definitely need to win. So that sacrifices were not in vain. To do this, I use the favorite chocolates of all people on the planet. I will definitely not lose face with them. Watch and learn. Hot chocolate is the last century. Today, chocolate is served separately because it looks more beautiful this way. And it also is much tastier. I just know an excellent form from serving it. It just needs to be smeared in a special shape. This way, there are gonna be half spheres. And then I'll put them together to make a ball. I'll pour cocoa inside so it will taste even better. And some marshmallows too. And now, just close it. Voila! And I'm gonna put more chocolate on top. Just perfect. Now you can pour hot milk into a glass. It is enough to throw one ball into it as it immediately becomes chocolate. Oh, so difficult. My granddaughter loves homemade cocoa and hot chocolate. I like it too. What is this smell? Ah, oh, Zach, your hot chocolate is burning. Oh no, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, why is chocolate so hard? Did I not cook anything? Oh no. Well, let's pretend that I planned it. Chocolate sculpture. 
Well, well, well. Sack, what did you do? It doesn't really look like cocoa or hot chocolate. Mm, big deal. It's just a bunch of chocolate bars. That won't do. Let's see what my beloved granny has prepared for me. Mmm. Homemade cocoa. Yummy. Also with cookies. Mmm, so good. The only thing left is to try what a miracle Chef Tina has prepared. The pitch, of course, is much more interesting than the rest. Whoa. I think I got it. Her hot chocolate is something incredible. Ooh, look how it melts. So magical. Is it really chocolate? Let's try. Mmm, it's just something incredible. The winner of this round is obvious. Tina, you're becoming one. Ugh, obvious. After all, I'm the only professional here. Now I want a cake. Big and delicious. I can cook cakes very well. <gasps> Easy. I can definitely handle it. It's good that grandma knows her granddaughter's taste. I'll be able to cook exactly the cake that Kate loves the most. And I will make it in the shape of a heart so that she also knows that I love her. Just like that. So cute. The layers need to be thoroughly smeared with cream so they won't stick together. The more you got the cream, the more delicious the cake will turn out. Therefore, you need to smear every millimeter of the cake with cream. And now, I'll just even the sides from the cake. Ready. Oh, so good. Now, there are no better decorations for a cake than fresh berries. You need to cut off the extra leaves from them and combine berries with the cake. Berries will give the cake sophistication and, of course, a pleasant taste. How do you like my creation? It's corny somehow. Now I will show you how to cook a delicious and great original cake. First, the cakes should be divided into two parts, after which a piece should be cut out of a cake. Ready. After that, you just need to repeat after grandma, but not for long. After each layer is covered with cream, time to flip and design it. Perfect. The base of the future rainbow is ready. Then we just need to decorate it with the right colors. I'm sure Kate hasn't tried a rainbow cake yet. Well, almost everything is ready. The only thing left is to smooth the cream and add some details. Perfect. And now we can just add some details. A rainbow with a face will be much more cute. And you can also finish off with drawing some clouds. Another one of my masterpieces are ready. Why bother so much? It's a cake. You'll have to eat it anyway. It's enough just to pile it of cream. Everyone loves it. Oh, it seems that Grandma and Tina cakes are clearly better than mine. But I'll fix it right now. To do this, I need to melt some chocolate. I hope I can do it quickly. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yum. So cool. And delicious. It's time to pour this chocolate on this cake. But you need to do this with a special mold. Yeah, don't forget about sprinkles. Look at that. Cool, right? And now... Whoa, so cool! Yeah, that's really good, Zach. Yeah, everyone did their best this time for sure. I don't even know where to start. Probably from Tina's cake. It's so cute. Delicious, but clearly missing something. Grandma, I hope I like your cake more. Yummy, but there's something missing here. Sag, maybe at least you made the perfect cake. Looks, of course, quite ordinary, but the appearance can be deceptive. Mmm, 
smells so good. Mmm. And this is exactly the case! I haven't tasted such a delicious cake before in a long time! Sad congratulations, this time the victory is yours! Finally! I already thought I can't win! What can I cook for you? I want a chicken leg. Nothing complicated. We'll cook you anything you want. What is it made of? Chicken, silly! I know a wonderful recipe for chicken. Add some spices. Mmm, it's gonna be a very tasty dish. Some vegetables. I'll prepare them. The secret of this dish is that the more vegetables you add, the tastier it will turn out. You need to wash everything thoroughly, cut it into large pieces after all. A big piece in the mouth is happy mouth. Just cut some potatoes too. And then proceed to stuffing it. Here is the most important part. I will put all the vegetables in the chicken and they will be back right inside of it. Vegetables can be alternated. I will also put potatoes and carrots in the baking dish. Let them cook separately from the meat. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Now I'll put everything in a well-heated oven. Hmm, I don't like this chicken, but the chicken from KFC is a completely different matter. I'll cook especially spicy with the addition of Tabasco pepper and breadcrumbs from Cheetos. Hmm, this jar is too small. And now I'm going to roll a chicken leg in breadcrumbs. The main thing is to shake the pack. That's it! Then you can put the chicken on the baking sheet with parchment to bake it in the oven. Uh, what was that? What's happening? Before cooking the chicken, we must thoroughly beat it off. Beat with all your might and then it will become all juicy and soft. Now you can cook it. Add oil to the frying pan and fry the fillets on the all sides until they're cooked. Oh, what a delicious chicken I will make. It's ready. Now to pour some oil on it. Just like that. Before serving, I'll smear the chicken with butter. <clears throat> Smells so good. Oh, don't you dare. This is for my granddaughter. Take care of your chicken. That's what I'll do. It's time to put the legs in the oven. How beautiful they turned out. Oh no. Oh! Then added too much of the world's hottest Tabasco pepper. <gasps> I can't. Oh, my legs are fried. Now they can be served. I'll put them in a KFC bucket. So just like that in a cafe. Hmm. And I have to get ready. Only a couple of touches to a beautiful dish are missing. Here. Now the chicken looks exquisite. Bon appétit. Bah, bah, bah. Try, granddaughter. Hmm, what different dishes turned out here? And which one should I start with? I think I'll try with chicken fillet. Hmm, do you need to eat some sauce? Hmm, it smells good. Hmm, what I have to say, it's delicious. I like it. Uh, let's try this one. Hmm, whoa, they look like very much like KFC. Mm. So spicy, what should I do? It's terrible. We need something to eat this taste off. Ah, another chicken. Mm, it helped. Mm, so juicy. Yes, this is the best chicken. I have chosen the winner. Yes, Grandma. You're the best. Ah, oh, I have to feed my granddaughter properly, am I right? I want ice cream! Yes. And I have to have different tastes in it. Uh, what? Ice cream? And how to cook ice cream? I'll look it up in Google. <sighs> My recipe book. Oh, amateurs. Ice cream is made of from cream. So to get different flavors, you just need to pour cream into different bowls. The first bowl will taste like strawberries. I'll add the berry to the cream and mix everything with a blender. The blender will grind the strawberries with the cream to a thick foam. This ball will be green. I'll make the addition of kiwi, the technology is the same. And now I'll add blueberries to make the bowl turn blue. Oh, how beautiful! It looks like I don't have the recipe, but Grandma knows everything. Hmm, think curly gray-headed girl. Oh, I know. 
I'll make it with ice molds. I'll put a berry in each one of them and pour milk. It should cover the berries. I will insert a popsicle stick into each sector. So it'll be a very convenient to pull the ice cream out of the mold. Hmm. That's it. The only thing left is to put the ice cream in the freezer for a long time. More precisely, until the milk freezes. It will have to wait, but it's worth it. Oh, where is it? Ooh, I finally found it. A convenient and very simple recipe from TikTok. Yeah. I even have everything I need to make an ice cream. And by the way, I figured out how to make it even tastier than this recipe. I'll add some M&Ms, milk. And now I'm going to close it tightly. I'll take another bag and add ice cubes to it. I'll put the finished ice cream mixture inside and pour more cubes on top. And now you need to close the package and shake it well. It even sounds like music. What are those sounds? This is me checking out recipe from TikTok. Come with me. Uh, what's the matter with them? Okay, let them have fun. Now I need to grind a piece of dry ice. It's steaming so much, it's crazy. Ooh. Uh, what's happening? Why did it get so cold in here? It's all Betty with her hot cuisine recipes. Correctly noted, Ben. I cook only according to recipes of hot cuisine. Ah, uh, notice my ice cream looks exactly as Paige depicted it. Isn't that a sign of mastery? And now it remains to decorate the balls before serving with strawberries, multicolored sprinkles, and trinkles of chocolate sauce. See? That's beautiful. And it's ready. <laughs> and Grandma has everything ready, too. Yes, this is not a haughty cuisine dish, but just look at these cute sweet babies. Ooh, I wonder if it worked. Hooray, it worked! Look at that. Mm, how beautiful. And what is this? Looks like I have to eat it from the back. Well, it doesn't look well, but it's quite good. What a strange ice cream. This is the first time I've seen this. Hmm, it's just ice with strawberries. Ah, uh, not sweet at all. Ooh, I finally got to you. Incredible, beautiful ice cream. Mmm, the most delicious, beautiful, just like I dreamed of. Careful, Paige. If you eat too much ice cream at once, you can freeze. But it looks like she won't be listening to me, right? Ah, uh, the most delicious. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yes, my ice cream is the most delicious. Victory is mine. I have a really simple task for you. Make me some scrambled eggs. Well, that's not complicated. Easy peasy. I'm gonna make a real gourmet dish. Hey, Grandma, stop sleeping. The challenge has already started. We need to make scrambled eggs. Huh? Scrambled eggs? Why, thank you, young lady. Well, it's time to start. I'll need that oil too, Mary. Sure. You can't have scrambled eggs without oil, right? Hey, why isn't it pouring? Stupid bottle. I didn't need to get that much oil. Oops. Ted, now you take an egg. Which you'll break into the frying pan. It's very simple. Yeah! Nothing could be easier. Here we go! One more! Well, that was almost right. These guys are useless. I can definitely beat them. Cooking's my thing. Scrambled eggs are so easy, too. But I'm gonna make these a little more fun. First, I'm gonna separate the yolk from the whites. Then, I'm gonna mix up the whites until they become nice and foamy. Why is she doing all that? I have no idea. Turned out great! 
Now let's mix up the yolks. And pour them right into the pan. Here they go! Those are some weird scrambled eggs. Why'd you separate them? Because this makes the eggs a lot more fancier. Just look how fancy my dish looks now. Very. But I think all you need is salt and pepper to give scrambled eggs a little extra kick. <laughs> ah! Ted! What's wrong? It's so hot! Why is it hissing like that? What's happening? Help! I think my scrambled egg wants to kill me! Maybe it's because you should have turned the stove off a long time ago? You burnt them all! Oh no! That's not what was supposed to happen! Well… Maybe I can make it taste better with some whipped cream! Whipped cream goes good on everything, right? Okay, I'm ready! I have everything ready too! Wow! Mary, you did something really unusual! Do you mind if I touch it? Hands off! This is a real delicacy. Alright, Kate, it's your choice! I don't even know where to start. What's this black scrambled egg thing? With white on top? I can't even cut it! Mmm, but these fried eggs with the gooey center look so appetizing! Just gotta try it! Delicious! This is exactly what I wanted! I wonder what this is? It looks really strange. It tastes really good. But still, I like plain old ordinary scrambled eggs the best. Yeah! Grandma, you won! Love ya! Grandma won! <laughs> Grandma beat them all! In this round, you're gonna need to try to make me a delicious burger. Easy peasy. Oh, I don't know anything about burgers. I love burgers! I might end up eating this myself! It's time to start cooking! It's time for me to win! Hey, that's my tomato! You can't just take it away! My granddaughter's not gonna get just a delicious burger, but also a very healthy burger. Tomato, onions, cucumber… I won't need any of that meat! You know it's really bad for you. No worse than your cooking. The main thing is to cook with love. Then my healthy burger won't just be healthy. But also delicious. <laughs> this is what I mean by healthy eating. None of your junk food. Even ghosts on a farm don't eat that much grass. I can't believe you're gonna give that to your granddaughter. What's a burger without an actual burger? It's the most important part. Then all you need is some cheese and sauce. I'm already drooling. Ah, stupid onion! Who came up with the idea to put this on burgers anyways? Oh, come on! I can't cook anything! Don't be upset. Here, have a piece of chocolate. A chocolate bar? That's it! That's such a great idea! Why cook a regular burger when I can make it sweet and chocolatey? This is gonna turn out so cool! Just a little more chocolate left. Wow, this is gonna be the coolest chocolate burger you've ever seen! And the cherry on top of the cake is gonna be this chocolate syrup. Makes my burger look amazing! Wow! 
I've never seen a chocolate burger before. I think it's gonna be really tasty. Mmm, this is amazing! Let's see what'll happen next. Hey, where's the patty? What am I? Some goat on a farm? It tastes too healthy. Burgers like this don't put me in a very good mood. Wow. Whoa, but this third one's a real contender. This burger looks way cooler. Mmm, yummy. Just the thing for a perfect lunch. Which burger should I choose? The sweet one? Or the hearty one? No, after all, I like sweet more. It's way more original. Yeah! Woohoo! I won!